week. It was really good. I really liked it. So Jeremy Vine went home, who I really loved watching on the show. Like, regardless of the fact that he was probably the weakest dancer. Well, you know, being realistic, he was the weakest dancer. But I loved his his attitude, his energy. Um, it was just infectious. So congrats, Jeremy Vine. I really enjoyed watching you. Back to the guys that are left in the competition. Um, Georgia and Giovanni's Charleston was outstanding. I was watching it, I was like, this girl must be exhausted, firstly. It was non-stop, jam-packed, full of content, content, content. Um, she really kept up. Like, I was wondering choreography-wise if, if Giovanni choreographed that or if someone else came in. It was just like non-stop, full of moves from start to finish. She held her own. I felt as though she came more out of herself this week because she's been a great dancer, but the face was really there, uh, more so than I've seen from her. So she really stepped it up. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic, full of energy just fab really like you deserve to be in the fight um another one that i loved was helen george and ali ash that was great she is constantly every week she's not resting on her laurels whatsoever and i love that about her actually you can tell that she's extremely hard working and they did a great job today i really love the lighting i really noticed it in Anton and Katie's routine actually and they did a rumba I believe and it was the lighting was just really complemented the whole routine made it look fab she was fab those legs I think this is the first time Anton's made it to Blackpool so congratulations Anton you must be absolutely stoked to be there Leb and Anita I'm really into this partnership I keep saying it, but what I love about these two is they really transform with each dance. They really become each dance to the point where she's like a different person each time, from the hair to the costuming to the attitude that Anita brings to each dance. It's it's coming from a different place each week. She's not kind of, you know, saying, oh, well, I know how to do that, so I'll stick with that. It's very evident that she keeps evolving her characters and, and really getting into the nitty gritties of the characters as opposed to just, you know, the steps. So this is one that I was kind of on the fence about. Uh, it was Kelly and Kevin. So they did boom, shake, shake, shake the room, which was a samba, which is kind of interesting. You're always gonna have controversy when you do things like this, you know, trying to push it outside of the box. Now, I thought it definitely had a lot of content, however just the the music choice and then like it just it just felt a bit too like this and then this trying to marry together it just it was a bit but then you know Craig was like I didn't know whether to love it or hate it and he loved it so you know it wasn't that the routine wasn't great I just think the two concepts were a bit like worlds apart. Uh, it's starting to come out of her shell a bit more. I liked the routine, it was fun, it was energetic. You know, good job, Javelia. Hang on in there, keep Peter, Andre and Jeanette. I enjoyed their routine, it wasn't my favorite, but I mean, come on now, when you've been on such a high all this time, it's, you're always gonna have, you know, it's just my opinion anyway, like, whatever. But there's always gonna be, you know, a week that perhaps isn't the routine isn't your favorite and that was this week for me not that the routine wasn't great but still fab still great still awesome you know doing it killing it living it watching them loving it so yeah now Jay and these nerves it's like I'm actually anxious for him now every week because he seems to get so nervous and he like has these trips and whatnot which is, you know, a little bit unfortunate, but I mean, he's still great. And like his legs, his arms, the choreography, he, he lives it. He gives you everything. And regardless of a little fumble here or there, 
he's in the finale finale for me 100 percent. just a great dancer and just love watching him i love his character i love his attitude i love the fact that he's not so confident it's very endearing it's very nice to see that someone that's been in the business for such a long time who's in a boy band you know is used to being out there in front of cameras and whatnot is still struggling a little bit with the confidence and you know just the nerves and whatnot makes him very human very relatable and um, yeah I've really enjoyed watching him and getting to know him on the show so yeah that's where I'm at with this week on Strictly I'm very excited for next week because I feel like now with Jeremy gone it really is coming down to the nitty gritty of the best dancers so that is extremely exciting to sit and watch so I will keep you posted next week with my thoughts of next week's show and um, who do you think is going to be out next week what do you think the deal's going to be? I'm a bit on the fence. It's, it's going to be a rough week. I think we've really got to get behind our favourites now because this is when it comes to crunch time. So don't say I didn't warn you. All right, guys. Well, I'm off to go and watch Dance with the Stars now. Um, but I'll keep you posted on everything. I've also got a, an interview with Mark coming up, hopefully by today. So I'll speak to you all soon, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.